Hi Flosstube, it is Sunday, December 13th, and I'm here to talk to you about my stitching today. Um, yeah, sorry it's been so long. It's been a bit crazy in life. Um, I was sick for a while, and um, it wasn't a... First it was a stomach flu, and then it was just... Um, a bad, a bad time. Um, I am feeling a whole lot better, which is good. Yeah, always, right? Um, yeah, just that. And then it was absolutely insane at work for the last two weeks. Um, we were working on setting up a website for uh, local businesses, vendors, makers, etc., that they can sell all their stuff online. It's kind of like a local Amazon slash Etsy type situation. And I've been working on building that website. And it's taken pretty much every waking moment, lots of overtime hours, not a lot of stitching happening, um, a lot of mindless watching of TV slash Amazon, actually Amazon Prime and YouTube and whatever. I'm still behind on my floss tubes, but I'm now working on catching up. And yeah, other than that, it's been, it's been okay. We've had very, very nice weather. Everything above zero uh, Celsius, um, all the way up to like 13 degrees and for December that's insane so yeah so now I'll ask how are you guys doing wonderful um, I'm um, yeah so we'll go on with uh, my stitching that I've been doing um, okay I have two finishes, so that's pretty exciting. I'll start off with those. The first one that I finished is this one here. Twas the Night Before Christmas. Uh, the pattern is by Sue Hillis Design. Um, there are no beads, no specialty stitches. It's just, just DMC. No Krennic, no nothing, which is a bit unusual for me, but this was just so pretty and I can't, I couldn't not stitch it. I got the pattern earlier this year and it just kept calling to me and it's stitched on 28 count, 28 count mushroom Lugana. And uh, yeah, so that's... I finished this last Sunday, I think. Um, yeah, I didn't make a video, so I couldn't show you where my progress was. But I was almost done. Um, and it's going in my, my drawer of... I'm planning on making this into a quilted wall hanging. And my next finish, I finished this one yesterday after midnight. I stayed up to finish this one just because it's, I wanted it done. And here we are. This is Holly Pixie by Nora Corbett. And I'll just give you a bit of a close-up on how it looks. Yeah, I didn't have the correct critic, but I had the right color in the blending filament, so I improvised. Because I didn't want to wait weeks and weeks and weeks to have, to get the, the critic. So, this is Holly Pixie, and she's all done. And so I'm waiting for sticky board. Um, 
the place where I usually buy it from, they are waiting for their stock. And so, yeah, life and stuff. Um, I don't have any haul to show you this week. I have some stuff that is, I was supposed to have some this week, but yeah, that didn't happen. Post office and stuff. Okay, my to-be-finished drawer is getting very full and I'm having a hard time closing it. Um, but I have a new start. I started it yesterday. Um, I'm still into stitching all the Christmas. And so, yeah. Anyway, it's uh, this piece right here. Christmas, Christmas piece. It's a Stony Creek design. It's leaflet 212. I picked this one up at Lizzie B when I was there, what was it? I think it was end of last year, beginning of this year. I met up with a friend out in that direction and uh, we went to Lizzie B's and spent too much money and yeah. Anyway, so I started this one and it's, it's really short. It's only like this, like it's one, it's, two inside pages and it's only going to be 12 and a quarter inches by, yeah, it's only 172 stitches wide and 77 high. So this is a very small pattern for me. Um, and it calls for Redworks Bleeding Hearts, but I switched it out. Um, I did a conversion to Cupid, Cupid by Classic Color Works, and it called for Glisten Gloss, um, I think I actually have that, I just haven't put it in my project bag yet, I just use these, of. Uh, I've run out of uh, fabric bags, so I'm using just these plastic zipper envelopes that you can get at the Dollar Tree. They're really cheap, really easy. Um, and I will show you my progress. I still have it attached to my Lowry. So here we are. I start my patterns in the middle for anyone who's um, interested in knowing that. Let me just pull that all the way through. There we go. And get a better look at it. Um, the needle minder is from Rocky Mountain Needle Minders. Um, the scissor slide here. I like it because it's magnetic and it holds my scissors. Um, the scissor, the scissor slide. Uh, my mom and I make them in our Etsy shop, and I'll link that below. It's Eliza's Fantasy Bags. Um, the, the scissor fob that I have on here is from Fractura Designs, um, out of Russia, again, on Etsy. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of Etsy shopping. Um, yeah, so this is, this is the piece that I'm working on now, and this is on 28 count Mushroom Lugana. The called for fabric is 28 count country Quaker cloth. So it's a little bit lighter than what I'm stitching it on, but Mushroom Lugana is one of those catch-alls. Um, attaching it back to my Lowry stand um yeah and so that's what I've been doing this weekend last weekend I volunteered at church and and I had been doing so many hours at work that I was just completely so tired I ended up napping for four hours on Sunday afternoon and and then it's been an insane week and all the things. Hey, Max. <gasps> Sorry, my dog is asking for attention, so I'm tossing him cookies out of my sweater pocket. 
Um, yeah, so it's been insanely busy at work. But hopefully that is now slow slowing down. We are now onboarding vendors. Um, so that's what I will be working on this week is helping people get on board. I did start my Christmas movie watching. Yeah, a bit late, I'll admit, but whatever. I normally start on the 1st of December and well, 1st of December I work till eight and I usually go to bed by nine because I'm up at 6.30. So yeah. Um, and then it's just been, yeah, domino effect. I finally have a weekend off and I am enjoying it to its fullest. So I started off with Holiday Inn. I realize this isn't one that a lot of people have heard of. It is old, it is still black and white, but it is one of my, this is the one that I always start my Christmas uh, watching on. Um, Christmas movie watching marathon on just, I love it. It is a musical, it has dancing, Actors had to be able to act. They had to be able to sing, dance. There was no CG. There was no stunt doubles. There was either you can do it or you can't. Um, but, and this one has, this one stars Bing Crosby and Fred Astaire with, uh, Marjorie Reynolds, Virginia, and Virginia Dale. So, um, this one is available on Amazon, so you can pick it up there. It's, yeah, like I said, it's one of my favorite Christmas movies, one of. Um, yeah, and so I watched that earlier in the week. I had one evening where I had it free. Um, and then yesterday... I picked up Christmas movie watching again and I watched Frozen. Yes, I'm an adult and I absolutely love Disney. <laughs> no shame. No shame. I, I'm a uh, card-carrying member of the Disney uh, Movie Rewards Club and I get my movies all the time from Disney. So here we go. Um, yeah, so I watched Frozen yesterday. And while I was stitching on Christmas piece, but, um, it made me, it made me want to stitch Snow Queen by Mirabilia. It reminds me so much of Elsa. So I may end up starting that one yet this year. We'll see. Um, and then I watched, this is not a Christmas movie, but well, Karate Kid 2, uh, the story continues. I used to do martial arts. Um, I used to do karate, and so karate movies are still very much a part of my repertoire of what I watch on occasion. Um, other than that, I've been watching episodes of House and Bones on uh, Prime, and... Golden Girls. <laughs> Again, I like the old stuff. It's just, I don't know, to me it's just better because people actually had to know how to act and they couldn't just fill it in with um, computer graphics. It's, yeah, pet peeve of mine. Not that I'm against computer graphics at all. Um, they they have their place and they look amazing when they're used correctly. It's just they there's so many movies out now that are all just violent and I just consider that to be terrible. I know other people are immune to that, but whatever. Anyway, there's my rant. Um, so my plans for today are to finish doing my laundry. Um, I cleaned my house yesterday, so that was only a month behind. But um, I'm going to keep stitching on Christmas piece. I'm going to see if I can get... I haven't quite decided yet whether I want to see if I can get the flower done or if I want to go up and stitch the dove. That's all on the, on the part that I have 
available to me on my QSnap. So, Christmas piece. Um, I also dug out uh, The Crown, third season on DVD. I'm going to watch that again. And other than that, I'm just planning on relaxing today. So, um, and drinking my coffee. So, have a great week everybody and uh, happy stitching and have a amazing, amazing, amazing week. Bye everybody.